بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. By now we should know the letter Hamza. We said if it has a fatha, it becomes a. With a kasra, it becomes i. And with a dhamma, it becomes u. We also have a connecting Hamza, known as Hamza tul wasl in Arabic. It looks like the head of the letter Saad placed above an alif at the beginning of a word, like in this example. We see two Hamza tul wasls. Now the rules are if we begin reading a word beginning with Hamza tul wasl, then we pronounce it with a vowel. So this word will read Al Hamdu. I pronounce the Hamza tul wasl with a vowel. Or if we start reading from this word, it will read Al Alamin. Al Alamin. But if we continue reading the sentence, the Hamza tul wasl gets dropped. So this will read Rabbil Alamin and not Rabbi Al Alamin. Let's have a look at some examples. This is two words. When we are reading these two words together, we have to drop the Hamza tul wasl. It now reads Wal Qalam. Wal Qalam. But if I read this word on its own, I have to place a vowel on the Hamza tul wasl. It will read Al Qalam. Another example. When we are reading these two words together, we have to drop the Hamza tul wasl. It now reads one har. One har. Let's try something bigger. The first word reads fa a mi. Fa a mi. The second word has a hamza tul wasl. We have to place the vowel on it when we start reading from it. It reads al miskin. Al miskin. Now, when we read it together, we drop the Hamza to wasl. It now reads Fa'amil Miskin. Let's find all the Hamza Tul Wasls. Okay, great. Now since we are reading everything together, we have to drop the Hamza Tul Wasl. It reads Hu Na Li Kab Tulial Mu'minun. See how we did not pronounce the Hamza tul wasl? And if I begin reading from these words, we have to keep the Hamza tul wasl and add a vowel. If I begin reading here, it will read Al Mu'minun. Al Mu'minun. And if I begin reading here, this will read Ub Tulia. Ub Tulia. Question. When you begin reading a word with Hamza Tul Wasl, how do you know what vowel to put on the Hamza Tul Wasl? Like in this example, I put a Dhamma here, and I put a Fatha here. Since we are just learning and most of us don't know the difference between a vowel and a noun, we should follow these steps. Number one. If after the Hamza tul wasl there is a lamb, you add a fatha. Like in these examples. We see a lamb after Hamza tul wasl. We have to place a fatha on the Hamza tul wasl. This reads Al Hamdu. This reads Al Alamin. Step 2. If the word doesn't have a lamb after the Hamza tul wasl, then we look at the third letter of that word. If it has a dhamma, then we place a dhamma on the Hamza tul wasl. Like in these examples, there is no lamb after Hamza tul wasl. The third letter has a dhamma, so we place a dhamma on Hamza tul wasl. This reads un dhur and this reads ukh ruj. There are a few exceptions, but you can follow our tajweed video for more details. Step 3. If the word doesn't have a lamb after Hamza tul wasl, and if the third letter does not have a dhamma on it, then it takes a kasra. Like in these examples. There is no lamb after Hamza tul wasl. The third letter doesn't have a dhamma. 
Therefore, the Hamzatul Wasl takes a Kasra. This now reads, Idhab. And this reads, Iftah. Let's do some more examples to sum it all up. Let's say I want to start reading from here. Let's look through the rules. Is there a lamb after Hamzatul Wasl? No. So it's not a Fatha. Does the third letter have a Dhamma? No. So it's not a Dhamma. It can only be a Kasra. It reads, Ishrah. Ishrah. And if I read the words together, we drop the Hamzatul Wasl and it reads, Rabbishrah. Let's say I want to start reading from here. Let's look through the rules. Is there a lamb after Hamzatul Wasl? No. So it's not a Fatha. Does the third letter have a Dhamma? Yes. So it takes a Dhamma. It reads, Udkhuli. And let's say I want to start reading from here. Let's look through the rules. Is there a lamb after Hamzatul Wasl? Yes. So it takes a Fatha. It reads, Al Jannah. Let's read it together. First we jump the Hamzatul Wasls. It now reads Qi Lad Khu Lil Jannah Qi Lad Khu Lil Jannah Great work. Sadaqallah